coming back. Um, this final performance is Tied Up in Knots. <laughs> it was written and directed by myself with a brilliant cast of actors, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Lydia Gray, light of my life, love of my life, will you do me the pleasure, no, the honour, mm, that's too formal, my dearest, I've got something I need to ask of you, no, beg of you, oh, that makes me sound desperate, <laughs> I can do this, I can do this, oh, I can't do this, no, pull yourself together, Bryson. You can and you will. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't. Wait, I should be making a bigger deal out of this. That's what women want, right? Romantic meal, the wine, and the candles, and slip the ring into her dessert. Boom! You just got proposed. <laughs> oh, what if she choked on it? <laughs> Nothing kills the mood more than choking to death. <laughs> Lydia Bryson. Oh God, I love the sound of that. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> you know there's one thing I don't like about you? What's that, you ask? Well, your last name, of course. Would you like mine? <laughs> oh, that's a brilliant way to start from insult her, because that's not going to get you a smack. <laughs> Have dropped the bugger. <laughs> Wait. Aha! Oh. Oh. I got it! <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ow. Ow. Ow! 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 Oh, yep, yeah, that's good, good. Yeah, well done, John. Oh, why is it in this pocket? <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I don't know what happened. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, again, I'm sorry. Please apologise for me. Oh, okay, I will. Tomorrow, I promise. See you tonight? Yeah, love you too. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, God. Ellie! Ellie! Where is she? Are you home? Elle! What on earth? Come! What are you doing here? I can hear you crashing about from across the hall. Oh, well, as you can see, I'm fine. Nothing whatsoever going on. Nothing going on. John, you crouched on the floor with your arse in the air. Did you think I was Lydia? No! <laughs> Is that something you're into? No! Are you sure? Look, I'm stuck. <laughs> so rather than ripping into me, could you perhaps give me a hand? I love you, Tom! Kidding, kidding! Oh, whoa, whoa, no! What do you think you're doing? Tom, <laughs> <laughs> possibly lift this sofa by myself? I'm gonna have to pull you out. 
Fine. Okay. Be quick. Right, okay. On the count of three, I need you to push into my pull. Push into your pull? Yeah, or I'll never get you out. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. One. Are you even pulling? Two. Ah, ah. Three. Ah, 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 Two. ah. You're still stuck. Why, no. No, I'm not. Can't you see me running round the room, whooping with glee? All right, all right. Not your lip, buddy. Do you want my help or not? Of course I want your help. It's not back talking. How am I back talking? Yes, you are. I'm disappointed that I'm still stuck. <laughs> Exactly! You still live with your sister. 
sir, for heaven's sake, what are you going to do? All bunk together? Kick Ellie out? Well, I'm always being passed up for promotion. Don't get me started on how expensive weddings are. Oh, look, I chased a meatball under a dresser for crying out loud. Does that feel like something a responsible see, husband or father would do? Flowers, I'm stuck in the, the same DJ, dead end job, venue, full of incompetent assholes, living in the same shitty apartment as my twin sister. Dates. Did I say flowers? I can't do it! Can't do what? Get married. Settle down. Tie the knot. Take your pick. Oh, that's my man! Oh, we're going to do so much! What have you done? They can see sets. I can't, Ellie. I just can't. I couldn't even get the proposal right. I'm cursed. Don't be daft, you're not cursed. Let's just steer clear of marriage, though, just in case. <laughs> Lydia deserves the perfect life. The perfect house, the perfect wedding, and that all starts with the perfect proposal, which I've already messed up. Then why don't you tell me what happened? I'm sure it can be fixed. <coughs> oh, this should be good. I planned this big... Romantic meal. Wine, candles, the whole shebang. It's all ready to go. Then 15 minutes before she's supposed to get there, I get a call from Carl. That big boss Carl. The very one. <laughs> Apparently there was an issue with the gleet. Oh, too much information. <laughs> well, not that kind of gleet. The general ledger estimation excluding tax. Oh, uh, makes more sense. I had to cancel the whole thing and go back into work. Didn't finish until God midnight. That's not too disastrous. Well, it gets worse. Oh, carry on. Please do. I tried going to bed when I got home, but I'd managed to work myself up too much. My stomach was tied up at knots. I couldn't sleep a wink. So, at three in the morning, I decided to go for a drive, you know, try and clear my head a bit. At three in the morning? Yes, at three in the morning. I drove round for a while, and I ended up outside Lydia's place. I hadn't realised where I was heading until I was outside her door. I thought this was a sign, you know, my subconscious spurring me on. So I figured now that I was here, it's best just to get over the whip. So I knocked on the door. At three in the morning? Oh, well, by this point, it was more like four. <laughs> four in the morning? Yes. <laughs> so I knocked, and there was no answer. I knocked again, still nothing. So I started banging on the door. At four in the morning? Yes! At four in the morning! Do you want me to finish this story or not? So I banged on the door for about a minute, and finally, she answered. Half asleep, half dressed, and fully pissed off. She just stared me down. And just seeing her face reminded me of what I was about to do. The knot in my stomach got tighter and tighter. I couldn't think, I couldn't breathe. I froze, glued to the spot, just staring at her. And then something inside me snapped, and I shouted. You shouted? At four in the morning! Yes! And yes, I shouted. I had something important to say to her. I thought she was extremely hot and that she made me nervous. And then I turned and walked away. Oh, you walked away? I walked away. That is rough. <laughs> it gets worse. How could it possibly? I'd woken up her awful neighbour, Mr Jenkins, and he set his dog on me. It chased me halfway down the street before I managed to escape, but not before the brute successfully relieved me of my shoe, which it still has my ad. It was rough, Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to go and ask for it back. So you see why I can't do this? How am I supposed to give Lydia a good life if I can't even defend myself from a hellhound? Okay, firstly, Mr. Jenkins' dog isn't a hellhound, she's a Jack Russell, and <laughs> she's the sloppiest thing ever. And secondly, you're making a huge mistake taking relationship advice from someone who sucks at relationships. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I do not suck at relationships. Your longest one was two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Your point? You shouldn't give relationship advice because you suck at relationships. I just said that. Well, in my defence, I wasn't giving him relationship advice. I was giving him <laughs> bachelor advice. He doesn't need bachelor advice. He's getting married. No, I'm not. Huh? See, see, there you go. Bachelor advice. And my first official piece of wisdom would be to get yourself your very own bachelor pad. If I can't afford to move in with Lydia, what makes you think that I can afford a 
Bachelor pad. Wash. Pad one. <laughs> <laughs> Just the monster. And this is ridiculous. <coughs> John, you have an amazing woman by your side who, trust me, would do anything for you. But? No buts. You're ready for this, whether you know it or not. Marriage is the union of two people. You share the burden together. That's the whole point. Huh. You're right. Whoa, whoa. Jeff went with no job. No, come, she's exactly right. I've just got to. No, 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 no. Hello, hello, hello. This is John Bryson. Oh, hello, Lydia. No, he can't get to the phone right now. I don't know. Something about skinny dipping. Oh, yeah, but they are very sexy pictures from downstairs. <laughs> no, I know. I, I'm just saying. That no, I, Lydia, I just meant... Okay, okay, Lydia, um, can you stop shouting? Oh. Uh, Li Lydia? Lid... It's for you. <laughs> <sighs> hey, baby. Uh, uh. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, she got to the phone before I could. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> really? That's good news. We'll have to celebrate. Tonight. Yeah, yeah, baby, look, I've got to go. See you tonight. Uh, slightly late. That's fine. Uh, Love you. Yeah. Oh, bye bye. Oh, oh. Oh! <laughs> you okay, buddy? John? Still with us? Huh? Um, Speak up. I can't marry her. Oh, no, John. Yes, John! <laughs> Lydia got promoted. Speak up! Lydia got promoted. But that's a good thing, right? This means now that she's earning more than me. So? So? Oh, my poor, sweet, deluded Ellie, fear not. I shall enlighten. Are the dramatics really necessary? Always. Right. <laughs> you see, now that Lydia has got promotion, it means that she wears trousers in the relationship, meaning John here has been demoted from hunter and provider down to arm candy. Oh, no. Are you being serious? I am always serious when it comes to the noble art of bachelorism. <clears throat> News flash: he's not a bachelor anymore. He hasn't been for quite some time. You want to know why? He's been in a relationship with the same girl for three years. He's been there for her through thick and thin. Not to mention that she's been through just as much. She puts up with his constant mood swings and with his best friend, who's a humongous ass. which <laughs> is funny because she used to be a kind of ass of small proportions, a handy, compact, travel-sized ass who used to look out for her best friend's interest once in a while. And actually, she was the reason that John and Lydia got together in the first place. Remember Cam? Three years ago, when John was too scared to even look in Lydia's direction, it was you who encouraged him. Um, when that failed, you pushed him in a lift with her and ran up the stairs, pressing the button on every floor for 20 floors, just to give him enough time to get her number. You were so supportive, Cam. What changed? I said, what changed? Oh, I don't know. You want to know what's changed? Frankly, I don't know. Seeing you. Ready to make this step. It's just got me thinking, like... What if the next part of the journey doesn't involve me? The thing is, John, I can't think of anybody more ready to get married? Anyone that's more able to take on this extra responsibility? Anyone that would make a better husband to Lydia? <sighs> so what if she earns more than me? Maybe now you can afford that side card. <laughs>
I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just promise me once you're married you won't forget me. Of course I won't. You're my best mate. Who's more suited to planning me a kick-ass bachelor party than the queen of bachelors? <laughs> I was thinking... Ireland. Ah. Booze. Ah. Rugby. Ah. The whole squad. I couldn't think of anything better. Mm. But that's to be expected from the best man. Really? Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honour. Don't sweat the details. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Okay, well, you know what you gotta do. Don't let me down. You're right. What time is it? Three o'clock, one. Good. She's still at work. This is it. What now? Yeah, no time like the present. I'm going to walk into that reception, get down on one knee, just get it over with. Simple. Not even I can mess that up. <laughs> straight. Sister, I'm reasonably sure I was always going to be on the guest list, but <laughs> yeah, I guess we can go together officially. Really? Yes, can really. 